Now, this article here was published on April the 22nd, 2025, and I'm not sure when I will be releasing this video, so maybe by the time I release it, this will be old news. But in any case, I thought I would cover it here. It's kind of interesting, especially if you're thinking about leaving NVIDIA for a myriad of reasons and going over to AMD and maybe getting a Radeon RX 9070 XT. So let's jump into this article here, which, by the way, I will link to in the YouTube description down below. So the RX 9070 XT video card has been doing really, really well. It's not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive. Like for example, if you wanted to pick up an NVIDIA RTX 5070, because it's kind of where it competes on that particular level. But what this card apparently is plagued with is high temperatures the memory reaches some crazy temperatures like 85 degrees celsius when the card is under load and of course that can cause issues right the memory is going to start throttling back it's going to degradate performance the fans are going to ramp up to keep it cool it's going to be loud so it's not good but while there might be some really good news and that might be that they're switching from the previously used sk hynix h-y-n-i-x gddr6 memory to samsung gddr6 memory which apparently is going to be substantially cooler now there's nothing really that clear about this because apparently right now people are finding out using gpu z or z you can see it here at the bottom of the screen that in fact their 9070 xt video card does indeed have samsung gddr memory however there's no rhyme or reason for this and i don't think that's listed as a feature on the box however which video card would you get or would you want you would want one right with the cooler samsung gddr6 memory i know i would if i was picking up one of these but it doesn't look like you're going to be able to do that i think it's just the luck of the draw or that's kind of what i'm getting from this article here now who knows maybe even now you can pick up a 9070 xt video card in other markets that actually has the cooler Samsung GDDR6 memory. And by the way, if you have a 9070 XT video card, let us all know if you were lucky enough to get one with the cooler Samsung GDDR6 memory. So let's talk about how much cooler it actually is. It's 10 degrees Celsius cooler. That is substantial actually. And that's when it's of course under load. So instead of 85 degrees Celsius, this memory will be 75 degrees Celsius. And of course, that is going to make a big difference in sound because the fans won't be ramping up as much and it'll stay cooler. It won't heat your case up as much. And it maybe, just maybe, will perform a little bit better. You know what's going to happen now, right? Everyone that picks up one of these video cards is going to want to get the one that has the better Samsung GDDR6 memory. And well, if scalpers can get hold of these particular units, and maybe that's one of the reasons why AMD is not, or maybe they will come out and say on the box, include Samsung GDDR6 memory, because, you know, people are going to buy them up and sell them and sell them. That's a selling point, really. Now, please keep in mind that there isn't, as far as I know, as of April the 23rd, 2025, nothing official from AMD about Samsung GDDR6 memory and what cards this memory will be on and anything else about this so i guess at this particular moment especially in markets outside of asia it's the luck of the draw as i mentioned before if you get one that has samsung gddr6 now are they going to switch and move completely away from the sk hynex memory Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I just I just don't know. I think what they will do is put, probably this is more expensive for them, put that more expensive GDDR6 Samsung memory in the 
more expensive versions and as well the overclocked editions of this video card. This video card is doing really well and I can see why certainly the way really that NVIDIA and their RTX 50 launch has gone has been, well, it's been a bit of a disaster so far. You know what? If you're still watching this video, you're certainly interested in my content. You can subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, like, comment. You can do all that stuff because it helps out a lot.